This is video three for the whistle design project. In the previous video, we completed the uh, outer portion, half of the whistle and the ball on the interior, along with making the uh, flets and the chamfers. In this video, we are going to pick up where we left off by using that mirror technique. So we're gonna come up here to mirror, and what we're gonna do is we wanna mirror this top portion here of the part on this plane. So we can see here, we want this top plane of this. So as we look around, what that basically does is it creates exactly what we've made, uh, but on the other side. So what we have now is our completed whistle. Uh, it's very important not to select that sphere or that ball that's on the inside of the mirror because we don't want two of the balls laying around. Now, this is where you can also have some fun and do some uh, design aspects to your whistle if you'd like to add. Uh, you can lay down a sketch and put an initial on or a design on the sides. Uh, but again, if you're to extrude, uh, don't extrude inwards uh, because you don't want to lose the integrity of the uh, whistle. Rather, do more of an uh, outward extrusion. Uh, you can see, for an example, in the one that was 3D printed, uh, they did a little hook on the end of this, uh, so you could put a lanyard through it. Uh, another student designed uh, their initial on there. So you could further go about and design, but at this point, you would have a fully functioning uh, 3D printed whistle if we were able to print this.